up, folks? Hang on, let's turn around. Ooh, ah. Hi, folks. Uh, Coach Neil. Uh, I hope the sound's all right. It's pretty busy where I am. It's pretty loud. Uh, I know we've had some sound issues lately, but I'm sorry. These videos are for content, and they're not for fucking professionalism and perfect studio sound and lighting, all right? Um, anyway, cool. How are you? Good? Uh, so, uh, day four of this cold flu thingy I've had. Now, I mean, as you've probably noticed, it doesn't really bother me, but it's there. You know what I mean? Uh, this, and for me to have something for four days is fucking extreme, I'll tell you. Uh, it must be a very, very, very strong pathogen. Uh, like I said before, I reckon it's a uh, virus, because uh, I'm in a new country. Uh, the, let's just say that the infrastructure might not be the best in terms of uh, sewage removal and cleanliness. You know, I mean, they're working on it. This entire place is being rebuilt, uh, rebuilt as we speak. New roads, new water pipelines, everything, you know. Uh, so I picked up a bug somewhere, obviously. Uh, could have been the gym, could have been, could have been fucking anywhere. I mean, really, you just have to touch something, touch your face, and you get a bug, you know. Uh, possibly in the ocean, I don't know. Virus, not so much. Bacteria in the ocean, yes. Virus, yeah, not so much. All right. Uh, so anyway, I'm fine, you know, but I've got <coughs> a bit of a tickle in the throat. All right. So, um, and I mean, if you knew what I'd done, hey, Rach, how are you? If you knew what I'd done the last four days, I should be fucking, I should have a cape on right now, I should be flying around the fucking city, you know, saving people. That's how strong I should be, after the, the amount of medicine, natural medicine I've pumped into myself. I've learnt a lot in the last four days. I've learnt how much uh, apple cider vinegar and honey and lemon and organic tea that the human body can handle. It's a fucking lot. All right? Anyway, as you can tell, I've got no obvious signs of, of sickness. So your obvious signs will be your puffiness, you know, uh, red, you know, Red nose, puffy eyes, dripping nose, fucking, uh, you know, just feeling like shit, looking like shit. Hello, Alan. Yeah, well, pay attention here, mate. I'll tell you these two juices I've got, and it'll fucking it'll knock that shit on his head. Taste some apple cider with vinegar. Yeah, thanks, genius. If I, if you'd seen how much apple cider with, uh, and honey I've had in the last four days, actually, I'm going to show you later. I'll show you how much apple cider and honey I've had in the last four days. Honey, 340 grams in the last two days. All right, that's legit. All right. Uh, and no, that's not dangerous. I don't give a fuck about the sugar content. I took it for the medicinal benefits. All right. So let me tell you now, right now, if you're watching this and you're thinking, oh yeah, we know what to do. We take some apple cider and honey. You're fucking wrong. Okay. This bug, this virus, whatever it is, is mutated above and beyond the usual natural remedies, which would knock it on its head within 48 hours. All right. I've done the usual times 10, and I've still got uh, a little bit hanging hanging on. And I'm, my immune system is one of the staunchest fucking immune systems in the world. And I can state that because I've travelled the fucking world and haven't been sick for eight years apart from one time three years ago for three days, all right? Haven't been to a doctor in eight years, all right? Been to a dentist once in eight years and that was for a, a root canal removal and a clean, nothing else, all right? So uh, trust me, you should pay attention to what I'm saying here because whatever bugs are going around right now, they are super bugs, all right? And they will fuck you up, all right? So anyway, yeah. Apple cider honey, absolutely. Lemon uh, hot water, yes, absolutely. Uh, plenty and plenty and plenty of fluids and electrolytes, yes, absolutely. Uh, antibiotics, no, because if it's virus, they don't fucking work. All right. Uh, uh, you know, over the counter cold and flu stuff. Look, if you want to, yeah, you can. I'm not going to tell you not to take something that's going to help uh, reduce your symptoms, but I don't touch that stuff. The only drugs I like are recreational. <laughs> okay, right. Anyway, I'm going to flip this round and show you, Dr. Neil. <laughs> I'm going to flip this round and show you what I'm doing right now. All right. Okay. All right, cool, so, I just don't want to get the fucking microphone in, in my hand. Okay, cool, so, I've got two cold-pressed juices here right now, all right? Now, why have I got two? Fucking, I need them, all right? This one is beetroot, apple, uh, sorry, beetroot, carrot, celery, cucumber, and ginger, all right? I'll tell you why in a second. This one is uh, pineapple, carrot, uh, ginger, turmeric, honey, and lemon, all right? So, there you go. Now, just no apple cider. Fucking make it disgusting. All right, so both of these, obviously, I mean, look, the color alone represents a different nutrient value, okay? I've talked about that before. I'm not going to go over it now, all right? The enzymes, which I'm always banging on about, and I haven't done a video yet, but I will, are super important, okay? Cold-pressed juice contains the same enzymes as, as, as if you ate the fruit or the vegetable that it came from, okay? Which means you are getting the, uh, the nutrition as if Mother Nature intended, all right? If you drink a juice from the supermarket that's concentrated, 
you're not getting any of that nutrition. You're just getting the flavor and the sugar, and that's it. You're not getting any, uh, and some vitamins and minerals, but not not as much as, as a cold press. A cold press is the only way to go. Centrifugal, if you must, the cold pressed is better, all right? So this one, all right, the reason I've got this one more than anything, because the other stuff I've got at home, fucking turmeric and ginger and everything, I've already had a ton of that today. The reason I've got this right now is for the pineapple, okay? Fresh pineapple juice contains the enzyme bromelain. Bromelain is a natural anti-inflammatory, but it's, ex it's extremely, extremely powerful as a throat lozenge, okay? So it's a natural throat lozenge. It will soothe the sore throat, okay? And I've got a little bit of that <coughs> still, all right? So that's why I've got this one. The ginger, the turmeric, I've already told you they're the two best roots on the planet. So, you know, I'm not going to go over that again. All right? Uh, well, I can't remember what else is. Oh, honey. Well, yeah. yeah. Honey is the na mother nature's most powerful medicine. All right? So it's got all the good stuff. This one is for uh, your circulatory system. The darker the color of the juice, the more it's, like, if it's dark red, it, it works for your, your circulatory system because your circulatory system is dark red. You know? Fucking pretty simple, really, isn't it? All right. So, uh, but also, especially good for the kidneys. It's going to help you flush uh, uh, dead shit out. It's worked its way through the lymphatic system and needs to be flushed out through the kidneys and your uh, urine. All right. Um, what else is in there? Celery, cucumber. Okay. So your greens are detoxifying and alkalizing. Okay. They also bind to certain toxins such as heavy metals and chemicals and flush them out of the body. All right. Again, you've got the enzymes. Okay. Now. One thing about the enzymes I forgot to mention is that they destroy a thing called biofilm. Biofilm is a substance, I'm gonna flick this back around, hang on. Right. So, biofilm is a substance that these smart motherfucking bugs cover themselves in like a cocoon. All right? So similar to the fibrin that a cancer cell will use to protect itself, the bugs use it, pathogens. So a pathogen is a bacteria or a virus or, or a protozoa or a fungi. Yeah, there's different pathogens, but I reckon this is a virus, all right? Uh, so what they do is they hide within this biofilm, and when you send things in to attack it, the biofilm is like a shield, all right? So it doesn't matter what you send in to attack it, it doesn't work, because the biofilm protects the bugs from your attack, all right? Same thing with your immune system. It, it prevents your immune system from fighting it, because the immune system can't get through the biofilm, all right? So enzymes, I was, I was trying to show you the juice, all right? So the juices, all right? The juices contain enzymes. Enzymes are Mother Nature's way of destroying biofilm. All right? So the enzymes in these cold-pressed juices will literally dissolve, melt, annihilate, fucking kill, stab, wound, whatever, the biofilm around the bugs. Then everything else I'm doing, such as the ginger and the turmeric and the, and the honey and the lemon uh, and, and uh, apple cider vinegar, you know, they will uh, destroy the pathogen. All right? So... I think that makes sense. Uh, so at the end of the day, this is day four. Right? I'm, you know, I said two days ago I should have been 100% the following day, and I wasn't. So it'd be interesting to see what happens tonight, because it's always when you go to bed that it, if they fight back, because you can't pump stuff in unless you fucking set an alarm and wake yourself up every three hours to have a shot of apple cider vinegar and some honey and fucking whatever, you know? So while you go to sleep, they fight back. So the bugs fight back, and when you wake up, you're sick again, you know? So it's a, it's a battle, because if you're not taking drugs, which you can't anyway for a cold, but if, um, if you're not taking, uh, if it was a bacterial and you were taking antibiotics, well, they would do the job while you're sleeping as well. Whereas when it's natural stuff, you need natural stuff every few hours. It's not like a drug, okay? Uh, and you need more of it, like a, you know, a, a, a pineapple juice is what's needed for a, a, a soothing, a, to soothe my throat. Whereas, you know, you could take a single lozenge to have the same, you know, antiseptic, anti-inflammatory effect, but it's not natural, you know what I mean? And I don't, I mean, given that I'm a natural health specialist, I can hardly start popping fucking over-the-counter drugs and say I'm a natural health specialist, you know what I mean? So I will do the things my way that I always do, and I'll be fine, and I'll be happy I didn't touch any of that stuff because when you get sick later in life from a superbug, which is going to happen, trust me, because the world's fucked, all right? These bugs are mutating every year, bacteria, viruses, everything, all right? We're going to run out of drugs to treat them, and you're, everybody's going to be fucked, all right? It's going to be a mass mass pandemic of fucking deaths like a plague, all right? When that happens, because I haven't touched any of these drugs, the drugs will still work on me. They will still help me to come over, uh, to overcome super flus and shit like that in the future, should I need them, you know? But if I've been popping antibiotics every year for 10 years, they won't work anymore, all right? So just say no to antibiotics and antivirals, all right? Fight stuff naturally, unless you are literally on your fucking deathbed, 
and you've got a, you know, a crazy superbug that's been diagnosed in the hospital, then of course take the medicine. You know, I'm not a doctor, this is not medical advice, this is my experience and my recommendation based upon my experience. Do not trust me, uh, allow me to create the thought in your mind that maybe I'm right and then go do your own research, alright? And make your own decision. Cheers folks, thanks for watching, see ya.